Welcome to this quick video on viewing your files in Microsoft Teams. So there was an update recently that changed the terminology and the look and feel of where you go and look at all the documents, the spreadsheets, the Word documents, the PDFs, anything that you've got saved in Teams in one place. As you know, if you've got something in a chat or in a Teams channel, then you can go and view it there. But if you want to go and have a look at all of your files, all of the documents you have on Teams, then what you're going to do is on the left hand side, you're going to go to OneDrive. And if I click on that, what it's going to do is give me a view of my online version of OneDrive. Now, it might take a few seconds to upload, but this is going to look very similar to if I went into OneDrive itself and had a look at all of my documents in there. You can see I've got quite a few spreadsheets with different sets of data on them that I use for my Excel videos. Um, and it's not very well organized because I don't use this account that often other than to record videos on so it's nice and clear and clean but you can see I can scroll down and I've got recents and then I can also split it into different types of documents so it's really easy to find the type of document I'm looking for but I've also got a filter option as well by it where I can filter by the name of the document or the person is the owner type the person that I'm looking for. So you can see down there, I've got different dates where I opened the account. Um, I can see who the owner is. I can see any activity on the top ones, so the most recent ones. And if I scroll down, you can just see I've got all my different document types, Excel there. I've got my lists. I've got a PowerPoint. I've got different files. I've got a loop component there, project activities. So you hopefully recognize the little icons from the rest of Teams to help you identify what you're looking for. And just like OneDrive, if you're in OneDrive itself, it looks like OneDrive and it behaves like OneDrive as well. Because you'll see as you hover, you've got the three dots in the middle. And if you click on that, you'll be able to open up a load of options. And you can see there, I've got open file location. So I can go see where that file sits. I've got a sharing option. Again, just like OneDrive, the same process works. I can copy a link and I can add shortcuts as well. So you can see there, you can use the three dots to manage your content in the same way in the OneDrive section of team that you would do in the general OneDrive section in Microsoft. So this view and the functionality works exactly the same directly in Teams than you uh, that you would have in OneDrive. So I think it's really nice because it feels feels really comfortable. I'm used to going into OneDrive and grabbing my content, doing the share options, get grabbing a quick copy link. Remember, you can only remember to set it so that they can access it or only share links with people that already have access, so things like that. But the same sort of processes work. And I don't have to go out to a separate application. It's all in there, in one place, in Teams, which makes my life so much easier. Because I'm always chatting to people in Teams. I'm always uploading and working with documents in Teams. So this just means that it's all in one place and easy for me to manage. So do have a look at that one. Get yourself really comfortable with it. See what things you can do in there. See if there's anything that you might want to go into OneDrive itself for. Um, and yeah, just see how that works really well for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.